Hey, what's up guys, Xover here, and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to assemble the MXP-180. I've been getting some emails asking if it's gonna be difficult to assemble, and it's honestly not, it's very, very easy. So this is the package you'll be getting when you receive it. I'm only gonna be using this hex, just cause it has a handle, but there is a hex uh, included in here, so let's open the package and see what you get. Everything is packed in here nicely. Nothing's gonna arrive broken. You're gonna get your HD camera mount and your top uh, top plate. What's included? Your power distribution board with built-in LEDs. And here's your hardware pack along with your hex screw, battery strap, uh, neoprene tape, XT60 connector, and your unibody. MXP 180. So you can see there's a lot of holes, but I'll let you know which ones you need. There's the center holes for your FC controller, some side mounts if you want to strap your battery on here for whichever reason. I just kind of put a whole bunch of stuff everywhere if you guys want to configure it differently, but um, I'll just basically be doing an assembly and show you guys how this whole thing goes together. First thing you want to do you can pump out all your hardware. So in the hardware kit, you're gonna find that you have these two 25 millimeter button head screws. You'll need these for the front. Then you'll have M3 by eight millimeter button head screws. You'll have um, 18 of these. And then you'll have these small little red standoffs. These are 15 millimeter. And you'll have four of these, just regular aluminum hex 15 millimeter standoffs. These are gonna be for the bottom and PDB. First thing I like to do is I like to put the 25 millimeter and there's a the front and back. So the one with the SMA connector for your antenna is the back and that's the front. So you can start by putting the 25 millimeters 25 millimeter button head screws in the front. And then go ahead and put in your red standoff. I'm not gonna tighten anything down on this because it's just an assembly, kind of showing you guys how everything goes together. This one goes in the front. I don't recommend putting Loctite on these two front ones, just in case you have to remove them. It's a really long thread, so it might be really hard. Next thing you need to do is you get your eight millimeter button head screw, put it in the back, and just put another red right standoff. So this is what you're gonna have for the first layer. There's gonna be four red right standoffs and the front ones are gonna have the screw sticking up. Next step you wanna do is uh, install the, just the regular aluminum standoffs. Those are going to go on the uh, very far outer holes. So there's going to be holes in the middle and then the very far out by the arms. That's where you want to put these. This is what's going to hold the power distribution board. And there you go, that's what it should look like. So this is the bottom, has just the regular standoffs. And the top and the back has a red standoffs and in the front has a big 25 millimeter screws with the standoffs going in. So the next part, um, the next part you can do is, it's really up to you. Also depending how you're, how you're doing wiring, but you can just install your power distribution board. So she's gonna mount on the regular standoffs. And you can put Loctite on these, I do recommend it. So there you go, that's with the PDB installed. And this does have a back and front, so the back is gonna have the red LED lights and the front is gonna have the red, I mean the blue LED lights. And the LED lights on here are extremely small, so it's gonna be very difficult for them to break off in a crash or something. We've had guys crash these and so far we haven't had any LEDs go out or break off, so it's gonna be very rare if you can break these off. So now the next step is the top plate. So 
So the top weight's gonna have the back and front. The front is gonna be with the big insert right here, and the back is just gonna have a small one. So what I suggest doing first is getting one of your screws and installing it right here. It's kind of near the middle or towards the back. Put in your red standoff. And this is gonna be the top of the, of the quad. So next, just simply have these holes align with the top here. It just inserts in. Just grab some red standoffs and you can insert it to the rest of the thread. You can't put Loctite on this one. Help keep the screws in there, or the standoffs I mean. And then you're gonna install the screws on the back side here. All right, so you're almost done. Last step to do is install your little camera mount. So this one also has a front and back. This is the front. That's the back. And you can't put Loctite on these also. You shouldn't have a problem taking them off. Now let's see what we have in this bag. So you have your X hover battery strap and make sure you put this battery strap on. Uh, this battery strap is actually gonna make you go faster. No matter what electronics you have, it's just gonna be a lot faster with this battery strap. So always fly with this on. And I would suggest installing this battery strap when you have the top plate off, it just makes it easier. Cause once you have all your electronics in there, it's gonna be a little difficult. There you have it. When you have your neoprene tape, this tape was developed by NASA. I'm just kidding, it wasn't developed by NASA, but a lot of guys like it because it takes away the vibrations from the motors, or if you have broken props or unbalanced props, you'll still get really smooth video using this, so you just stick it on there. You have your Allen key, your XT60 connector, a battery, and a card with our information, so if you need any help, you can give us a call or send us an email. And that's pretty much it guys. So that's the whole build right there. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Nothing, nothing too difficult. Uh, we did get a lot of emails saying that the build looked very complicated and looked very hard to build, but as you just saw in the video, it's extremely simple. So that's it guys. Thank you guys for those that uh, purchased this. If you guys have any questions, you can go on the website, send us an email, support at xhover.com or give us a phone call. We'd be more than happy to talk to you and help you guys out. So thanks for watching guys.